Welcome to part two of the Mandalorian build where we're turning the cosplay sky costume we got for review into a more screen accurate version of the Mandalorian. This time we're taking a look at the soft parts. So this is just the box tennis tracking that comes with the costume. As you can see it's kind of this textured um, fake leather kind of material. It's all very clean at the moment so we're gonna rough it up. So to start off with we're just gonna go over it with sandpaper and just get the edges and and just make it look like it's been used and worn rather than just being a, a brand new sort of bit of leather. So the next step for the soft parts is we're going to have to dye the chest piece. So this is the little fabric -y bit that the actual chest armour attaches to, as you saw in the first part of the video. When the Mando's got his brown armour, it is this colour, it's like a nice cream, but when he gets the best go on, it changes to a brown. So we've got some brown uh, fabric dye, it's the dye long one. All the instructions are on the back, so we're just going to go through that. And it, I think it takes about an hour, so hopefully... Uh, yeah, it shouldn't take too long for it to get the right colour and fingers crossed this fabric will actually dye well. If not, we'll just have to paint it and be very careful when washing it. Okay, so whilst we're waiting for our dye to dry, we can start attaching a couple of the pieces. So I can attach the thigh pieces and I should be able to attach my shoulder blades as well at the moment. So we've got this, which is some heavy duty Velcro. This is self-adhesive stuff. This stuff is pretty good. I normally use this for Stormtrooper armor, things like that. So we're just going to use the self-adhesive stuff to go on the back of uh, the armor and then we're actually going to use some uh, sew on velcro to attach to the actual suit. So all we really want is just two strips of velcro just in the middle of the leg here, fairly big so we've got a good anchor point. Alright so we've got the hook side in the armour, just going to get the loop side, attach it just so we know how long we want it. Alright, so I just dobbed some hot glue just in the middle of these bits of velcro, just letting it dry just so it's not too hot. So I'm just going to go with sort of, there's already some lines on the, the trousers, obviously where the old um, armour was uh, stitched on, so I'm just going to line it up so you can't see that. Slip that on. Basically what I want the hot glue to do, obviously don't Make sure it's not hot, hot, because don't burn yourself. But I just want the uh, the Velcro to stick in place on the trousers, just so I know roughly where to stitch it. 
obviously if it's just being tacked on the heavy duty velcro is strong enough it'll just pull it straight off so when you're taking it off try to be very careful okay so that's one come on heavy duty velcro is quite tough which is good because you don't want it falling off at the end of an event but like that it can also pull itself off Woo. There we go. So on the jumpsuit, we've already got some Velcro attached on the shoulders from where the old uh, leather armor was. And just touch it on there for now. We're not gonna take the backing off just yet. Do the same on the other shoulder. I'm gonna do the same method we did on the shins just to add a bit of lower Velcro just to make sure this doesn't move. Alright, so we've got our bit dyed. This has gone lighter than I expected it to, but it's still not a bad colour. So I'm going to stick with that, and I just painted on the dye on the front of the cummerbund here. So obviously it's not a perfect, like, solid blue, but I think it works quite well. It's bled a little bit into the, uh, the stitch lines here, but we're going to weather that anyway, so that won't notice. Just be aware if you're doing a clean version and you dye it, that might happen. So the last bit of armour we've got to stick on is obviously a lovely shiny chest plate so it sits up quite high so you don't see the top of this at all so we want it to just sit around about there we're just going to do the exact same method that we did for the rest of the armor put the uh heavy duty sticky back stuff on the inside of the chest plate and the stitch on velcro on the other side then just properly stitch all our velcro into place and yeah all our armor is going to be wearable now This is the bit of fabric for the lower left piece uh, from the original Cosplay Sky costume. We're going to use this one still. Uh, the only thing we need to do is um, just sort of improve the look of it because when it's on it just looks like a kind of loose bit of fabric but we want it to have sort of ruffles in it so we're just going to like pucker certain bits and then glue it so when it's on it just sort of has this kind of bunched up look at the bottom kind of similar to what the Mando actually has. Okay, so we're adding a couple more details to the belt. I've already gone ahead and swapped over the belt buckle. So this was the original bit, which is um, sort of the silver fake leather. So I just cut that off. Uh, I replaced it with a bit of plastic. So this is actually a spare bit of um, ABS, I think, that was left over from doing the Republic Commander build. So I just cut that out, ground a couple of bits out with the Dremel, spray painted it silver, and then glued it in place on the belt. So got a nice solid belt buckle and also with the same material and methods just cut out this little detail on here because again it was just like a little silver square of the fake leatherette stuff and that's just been glued in place too so now we've got to add um the little cylinder bits which are like the the bullet parts for um the rifle because i do want to make the rifle so i do want to keep them on the costume uh so we've got these little um loops that are already on the belt so there's one around the waist and then some around the top. And for that, I've gone ahead and ordered some of this, which is some foam dowel. Um, I got this from Polyprops. I get um, most of my foam from Polyprops. So uh, this is uh, 10 mil thick, and it's just thick enough that it fits in there quite nicely. So what we're gonna do is figure out how long we want them. So ideally, we want them a little bit wider than the belt up there. And it should be the same length for this one. And also we've got uh, some loops on one of the uh, the shin straps too that will add all these two as well all right yeah that seems about right so not all of these are filled in so we're gonna need one two three four five six just for the strap so we'll cut six out at whatever length this is now
Alright, so here's our little um, shells, I guess you can call them. For the top ring, I used a soldering iron so it's bigger and you kind of get this little indent on the side to give it more shape. And for the uh, the smaller, thinner one, I uh, just used the blade to cut into it and open up the, uh, the cut with the uh, heat gun. Spray painted it silver and just used some black acrylic to get in all the gaps and make it look dirty. So now we just got to put them in uh, the little gaps where they belong and I'll probably secure them in with a little dab of hot glue just to make sure they don't slide out. Alright, so this is our cape material. As you can see, I've just safety pinned it at the front. Um, so I kind of want to get it to look sort of all bunched up at the top and then we're going to have to completely go out the cape and cut bits off and try and burn it a little bit which is going to be interesting. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to like bunch bits up and just tack it together with glue and then um, go over it with uh, an actual needle and thread and properly stitch it together. Alright, so here's our ruined cape now. I tried spraying um, some black spray paint on the base a bit heavily, so there was a slight colour difference, but you don't really notice it too much. Um, burning this material is probably not a good idea because it's quite a fleecy material, so it's going to just melt rather than burn and look atrocious. So I just kind of roughed up the edges a little bit, a few holes, just makes it look more worn and torn. So we're nearly there for the soft parts. See, we've got all our strapping done. Got our leg piece, got our cummerbund. That will be weathered later, as will this, because we want to do some proper weathering with the airbrush. And as you can see, I have actually gone ahead and re-dyed the suit. So I was going to keep the suit blue, but then I decided, actually, no, I will go do it properly and uh, I dyed it brown. So I've got the same espresso brown that I got for the uh, the waistcoat bit. But because this was a darker colour to begin with, it's got this really nice dark brown, so I'm just going to very carefully just go over some patches with a light bit of uh, black spray. Maybe some acrylics as well, but we'll probably do that when we do the armour so we know how it all fits and it looks good. Again, just, just rough it up a little bit, but not too much. Okay, so one of the final bits we've got to make is the gloves. So these are the gloves that came with the cosplay sky costume. Um, they're not horrendous. The uh, the armour itself is actually uh, stitched onto the, the glove. The quality of the leather, especially for the black leather, is really, really not very nice. What we're going to do is we're going to retrofit these gloves. So we're going to use the yellow leather pieces and then get rid of the black ones. So I actually have a pair of old leather gloves, so they look a bit more worn. Um, these are the ones I use for Dr. Octopus, but I have a nice pair of leather gloves that I use for the officer that I can also use for Doc Ock, so... These will be our base. So what we're going to do is we're going to chop off uh, the end of the fingers, uh, just clean up some of the seams inside because there's a lot of leftover fabric in there, and uh, cut off the end of these gloves and just uh, Frankenstein them together. Hopefully it'll look alright and I'll probably just need to add a bit of stitching because they've got like a split in the, the rest of these gloves just to keep it closed, so... It shouldn't really pop out from underneath the, the gauntlet too much.
So there is one bit I actually forgot to make. Um, on the side he kind of has these, I guess the type of thermal detonators, they're explosives of some kind anyway. There is a pouch for it on the belt. Uh, I don't know if he has it at the end of the series, but hey, I'm not going for um, what well, is definitely at the end of the series because I'm not going for the jetpack, I want to get the blaster. So I thought, I'll, um, yeah, I'll make these detonator things. So yeah, the pouch that's on the belt that is already there is this one here. So it is smaller than the one in the show. So we just want to compensate for that by making a smaller version of the explosives. So I've just got a piece of spare Fomax and I have loads of uh, little bits and bobs in uh, my greebly cupboards, as I call them. So I've got these two random little caps. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a drill, drill out this middle bit because um, it has like a, a shiny red bit in the middle. And I've got some sheets of acetate and I'm going to spray one side red. Uh, so the other side is uh, still shiny. Just glue that in, stick these in place, and then uh, spray paint the rest silver. Because then that'll fit in the little pouch quite nicely. Uh, so what we're probably going to do is then just a tiny little bit of Velcro on the back here and on the bit there, just to make sure it's not going to come out as well. <laughs> There we are, bits of spray painted, and so I've just got some of this, which is acetate, so it's basically clear sheeting, you can buy it in stationer shops. I've just sprayed uh, one side of it with some spray paint, and so you can see the other side is still really nice and shiny. So we're going to cut out uh, how much we want, put it in the back, glue it in, and then glue these two to the little base. Right now I've got me some boots for the Mando. So these are just sort of brown standard kind of Chelsea boots. I think the official ones he wears are a brand of Skechers. Um, but I went into my local shoe shop, now they're actually open, and had a look and I found these ones which are pretty decent looking. They're men's so they're a tiny bit big for me, even though they're a size 6 which is my size. But that's okay because you just put an insole in there and that's fine. But obviously these are a little bit too clean so what we got to do is just rough them up a bit. So probably sandpaper a little bit of the, uh, the leather down and then just go over it with acrylic and maybe a touch of spray paint again just to give it sort of a look like it's just, it's been an explosion. Right, and Mando gloves have now been stitched together. My sewing skills do leave a lot to be desired, but we have been successful. And I've got some new uh, hand pieces. Um, my body mole surprised me with a couple of prints of um, bits of Mando armor, including some gauntlets. So I'm just gonna use uh, his hand plates and his gauntlets uh, further down the line for this build. So I've just painted them up and we just need to attach the Velcro onto the back of the hand and just weather up the, the yellow on the fingertips a little bit as well. <laughs> There you go, and that's how our costume looks so far. So we're getting there, just the weathering to do a couple of extra details to put on the armor, and we need to get the weapons and the helmet done as well. So it shouldn't be too long now to get it finished, so it should be within one or two more episodes, depending on how long things take to do. As always, thanks just gotta go out to my supporters on Patreon, especially to Jeff Kenny. If you'd like to support me on Patreon, links are always at the end of my video and down in the description below. You don't have to, just watching this video, liking, commenting, share it with your friends, subscribe if you like what you see, that all helps too. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care and remember, 
this is the way.